Good morning, and welcome to another episode of Smart Fox TV. If you like our shows, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Welcome to today's segment on Asian dogs. So Asia holds about 60% of the world's population, and although it's still debated, recent research suggests that the ancestors of our domesticated dogs were originally from Southeast Asia, and eventually they migrated to the Middle East, Africa, and the rest of Europe. So here are some popular dogs from Asia, along with some interesting facts on each. You know a chow chow when you see one, as it looks very lion-like thanks to its mane, and it also sports a black tongue. Chinese legend mentions huge war dogs that look like lions, possibly referencing these majestic beauties, and one ruler was rumored to have thousands of them as pets. Shih Tzus are now a popular lap dog, but they used to sit on the laps of emperors and may have originally come from Tibet, although that's also debated. They were bred to look like little lions as a form of art, hence their name Shih Tzu, which means lion in Chinese. You'll also know a Sharpei when you see one because of its very unique, crinkled skin. Sharpei means sand skin in Chinese due to its thick and stiff coat. They were almost extinct at one point in China, but it's placed in the 1978 Guinness Book of World Records as the world's rarest dog led to rush breeding for stateside buyers. This not only ended up saving the breed, but it created something entirely different from the original bone mouth Sharpei, which you'll notice is a little less wrinkled. Shiba Inus are considered one of the oldest dog breeds in Japan, if not the oldest one, and is also a national treasure of Japan. They were hunting dogs in ancient Japan and continue to be outdoorsy dogs today. Just like the Sharpei, they were close to extinction at one point, particularly during World War II. Desperate to preserve this dog breed, the three remaining pure lines of Shibas from various prefectures were combined to create the Shiba Inu we know today. The Japanese Chin, also known as the Japanese Spaniel, is very much like the Shih Tzus of China and were bred as royal lap dogs. Its origin is hazy, but most believe it originally came from China and was gifted to Japanese royalty, eventually ending up on the laps of upper class women in Europe and now on the laps of everyone. Akitas were bred as royal guard dogs in feudal Japan and were especially popularized after the story of Hachiko the Akita Inu went viral. In the 1920s, Hachiko would walk with his professor owner to the Shibuya subway station and come back later to walk him home. One day, his owner never returned from the university because he passed away suddenly during a meeting. People started to notice Hachiko waiting at the station every day as he started to become famous. He faithfully waited for his owner for over nine years before passing away near the station, and a statue was both erected at the station and by his owner's grave in his memory. Last one for today is the Jindo, a Korean dog which gets its name from an island by the same name off the southwest coast of South Korea. Like the Shiba Inu of Japan, the Jindo is considered a national treasure in its home country of South Korea and is known for being fiercely loyal to one owner. Despite a ban on exportation of them out of Korea, they started showing up in the 90s in the States, particularly in Korean American communities. You can now find many of these intelligent Shiba looking dogs in shelters. And as a little personal note, that's where I saved my Yuja. There are so many more beautiful dogs from Asia, but that's all for today. If you enjoyed this segment or want to hear more about a certain breed, please leave a comment below. Hey everyone, this is Kim and thanks for joining me for the current news. To start things off, President Biden spoke at the 2021 graduating class of U.S. Coastal Guard cadets graduation. In his address, he emphasized the importance and the need of the U.S. Coastal Guard cadets. He also mentions that the world is changing and we're currently at a significant infection point highlighting disruptive countries such as China and Russia. Today, People Magazine highlighted some awesome high school students that have done well for their school and their communities. First up is Nigel Murray, 17 years old. When his new foster brother arrived at his home with a trash bag full of clothes, Nigel felt 
very compassionate about his situation and decided to launch Clothes for Kids, which is a nonprofit organization that helps foster children receive essential um, needed materials such as uh, clothes, school supplies, and even a brand new duffel bag. Another student highlight is Jordan Mittler. Annie is 17 years old. It was about five years ago that he gifted his grandparents with a smartphone and they were completely confused. And he was confused at how much they were confused. Thus, in helping them become acquainted with technology, he also reached out to a local uh, senior living home where he assisted them for anybody who wanted assistance with uh, computers and cell phones and then moved his business to helping the elderly at his own synagogue. And with that, he created his uh, business, which is called Mittler Senior Technology, where he continues to help today, especially during COVID, where he feels technology is the answer to become social. This is Kim, and thanks for joining me for The Current News. Have a great day. This is Kim. This is Tracy. Hi, this is Sally. And thanks for watching Smartbox TV. Stay, Stay foxy. foxy.